Pleasant greetings to everyone. My name is Japani Grace P. Sanupao. Miss Erica Jane Limpangog and I will be reporting about Anthropocene, Capitalocene, Plantationocene, Colocene, Making Ken by Donna Harway. The Anthropocene Epoch is an official unit of geologic time used to describe the most recent period in Earth's history when human activity started to have a significant impact on the planet's climate and ecosystem. National Geographic Officially, the current epoch is called the Holocene, which began 11,700 years ago after the last major ice age. The word Anthropocene is derived from the Greek word anthropo, means man, and seen for new. Coined and made by the popular biologist Eugene Stormer and chemist Paul Crutzin in 2000. To those scientists who do think the Anthropocene described a new geological Atmosphere. time period, the next question is, when did it begin? Which also has been widely debated. Scene. A popular theory is that began at, at the start of the Industrial Revolution of 80s, when human activity had great impact on carbon and methane in Earth. According to Donna Haraway, the issues about naming relevant to the Anthropocene or Capitolocene have to do with scale, rate or speed, synchronicity, and complicity. No species, not even our own arrogant, one pretending to be a good individual in so-called modern Western script, acts alone as assemblages of organic species and of abiotic actors make history the evolutionary kind and the other kinds too it's more than climate change it's also extraordinary burdens of toxic chemistry mining depletion of lakes and river under and above ground ecosystem simplification vast genocide of people and other creatures etc in systematically linked pattern that threaten major system collapse after major collapse after major collapse and after major collapse reconstruction can be a drug Anna Singh she suggested that the infliction point between the Holocene and the Anthropocene might be the wiping out of the most refugia from which diverse species assemblage with or without people can be reconstituted after major event. This is keen to the world ecology. Anaching argued that the Holocene was the long period when refugia, places of refuge still existed, even abundant to sustain the rewilding in rich cultural and biological diversity. Jason Morse argued that the cheap nature is at an end Shipping nature cannot work much longer to sustain extraction and production in and of the contemporary world because of the most rivers of the earth have been drained, burned, depleted, poisoned, exterminated, and otherwise exhausted. Donna Haraway Donna Haraway, the Anthropocene marks severe discontinuities. What comes after will not be like what came before. I think our job is to make Anthropocene as short, thin as possible and to cul cultivate each other in every way imaginable epic to come that can replenish refuge. It does Anthropocene matter. It is widely accepted that our species, Homo sapiens, has had such a significant impact on Earth and it is inhabitants that we will have a lasting and potentially revisable influence on its system, environment, processes, and biodiversity. The Earth is 4.5 million years ago, and the modern humans have around for around a mere 200,000 years. Yet, in that time, we have fundamentally altered the physical, chemical, and biological system of the Earth, on which we, we and all organisms depend. In the past 60 years, in particular, these human impacts have unfolded at an unprecedented rate and scale. This period is sometimes known as the Great Acceleration, carbon dioxide emission, global warming, ocean acidification, habitat destruction, 
extinction and wild scale natural resources extractions are all signs that we have a significantly modified our planet. Signs of the Anthropocene Geologists disagree over the whether human will have a lasting and meaningful impact on the chemical composition of the rocks and fossils beneath our feet. This is what we'll need to prove in to declare a new epoch. Humans have been around for sh a such a short period relatively to Earth's history. That is that it may be too soon to tell whether our impact will be visible in fossils record millions of years from now. The International Commission on the body which oversees how we talk about the history of Earth has the power to decide on and names the geological epic. They are still debating the proof for the Anthropocene and are looking for what's known as a golden spike, a marker in the fossil record which could decremate the Holocene from the Anthropocene. Anthropocene and the Industrial Revolution. Burning the organic carbon and fossil fuels enabled large-scale and production and drove the growth of mines, factories, and mills. Since then, other countries have followed suit. Demand for coal has increased along with carbon dioxide emission to the of the environment. Others argue that Anthropocene began far earlier. Women began farming. Even more people suggest it's down in 1950, which nuclear weapons cast radioactive elements across the globe. The radioactive debris from nuclear bombs made its way into rocks, trees, and atmosphere, they may represent the golden spike that scientists are searching for. Currently, there is no clear consensus. The scale of human impact on Earth. The Anthropocene is something used to simplify describe the time during which humans have had a substantial impact on other planets. Whether or not we are a new geological age, we are part of the complex global system and evidence of our impact on it has become clear. Some people think of this human impact largely with regard to climate change. The warming of our atmosphere, air, and ocean caused by using fossils, but the age of human is about more than just a climate change. Anthropocene and extension. Although there have been mass extension events on Earth history, where was swath of life have been wiped out until now, they have all been triggered by natural causes like asteroids, volcanic eruption. This is the first time single species have caused such a destructive effect on the natural world and have awareness of doing so. Anthropocene pros Manufacturing jobs have lifted approximately 600 million out of poverty. We have managed to harness a lot of energy, our use of local coal and oil and nuclear power. Collective learning advanced in medicine, agriculture, and genetic engineering have in, in the past 200 years lowered the death rate and feed billions of people from the cycling of starvation and famine that affected agrarian civilization. In the long term, development of, our, of a country's economy tends to change demographic trends. Anthropocene cons More people on the developing world or forced from traditional ways of life and yeah. into factory jobs with poor safety standards, long hours, and miserly wages. Current, mo current modes of production release heavily on non renewable resources that are not great for the environment. The tremendous expansion of the population in India and China have created. Good morning, ma'am. This is my report about the capital scene. What is Capitalocene? Capitalocene is an attempt to reflect on the negative effects of human activity on Earth while attempting to avoid the glorification of humankind ringing in the term Anthropocene. The Capitalocene sounds an alarm about the processes that seem to lead inevitably to human and multi-species extinction at an unprecedented rate while pointing out the problem clearly seeing the natural world in terms of capital. Jason Moore, 
he argues that capitalism does not stand capitalism. According to him, capitalism signifies capitalism as a way of organizing the nature. Arundhati Roy The author of a novel titled The Ministry of Atmos Happiness. She is a long-time political activist and a speaker for human rights and environmental issues, whose career revolves around the topic of man-made destruction and contemporary moment. Ruiz, the Ministry of Utmost Happiness, presents a vision of humans and non-humans in an urban landscape of the capital scene, where the ill-conceived modernizations of unbridled capitalism, the cause of suffering and destitution of human and non-human animals alike. Thank you. The teaching is in the by the narrow way as a way of drawing attention to the plant planetary effect of ex extractive practices, monoculture development, and coercive labor structure that have undergated modernity and climate change since the plantation at least in. the last six, six, six months. Can provide a useful rubric for Ayakai. thinking through human agent ecological change, Ayakai. especially as these changes and evenly affect affect the different population and regions. Furthermore, the calls attention to the enable ideological and economical legacies of imperialism, including and race based on and inequities among diverse people based on race, gender, class, and sexual orientation. This special issue of the Global South examined the productive tension created by the operative phrase and an in, which thinking, writing, and living through the climate change from the perspective of the global south and in the Plantation Ocean series aim to create a conversation about multiple forms of plantations, both past and present, as well as the ways that plantations, logic, organize modern economics, environments, and social relations. Few scholars have been influential as Donna Harvey and Anna Ching, imagining new ways of being a multi-species world at the age of extension. We were delighted to have these two creative, inspiring thinkers join us wide-ranging conversation on the plantation season on April 18, 2019. Thank you. Sit to Lucene. What is Cytolocene? The Anthropocene proposes to see the human as the agent of destruction. The Capitalocene goes on a step further to diagnose the processes responsible for the problems that might spell our doom. Cytolocene is different because it refuses to give in to such a defeatist attitude as it signifies ongoing multispecies stories and practices of becoming within times that remain at stake in preca precarious times in which the world is not finished and the sky has not fallen yet. According to Donna Haraway, Haraway calls for learning to be truly present, which require from us mortal creatures entwined in myriad unfinished configurations of places, times, matters and also a meaning. Unlike these dominant dramas of Anthropocene and Capitalocene discourse, human beings are not only the important actors in the Cetolocene. The order is to recognized human beings are with and of the earth. In Harawi's definition about Cetolocene, the present moment takes on continuity and is characterized by committed cooperation among species where humans constitute only one of the main parts. Such thinking about our times and about our place in the world, it requires a literature that will, that will recognize the varied groupings and written by humans. 
two major characters of novel, Anya and Senior C. Anya uses consciously and not not humor with uses consciously and not without humor. Senior C uses in more geared anthropocentric way. Diary of a Bad Year Diary of a Bad Year The reader is faced with recognition of the animals in the human and entanglement among species. Diary of a Bad Year proposes a solution to the alienation and anguish of the current times, suggesting that it is a recognition of human, non-human entanglement in the spirit of the cytolazine that has the potential of breaking through the neg- negativity of the capitalism and the Promethean egocentrism of the Anthropocene. The Cetolocene carries the promise premised on our collations across species of a sustainable world existing beyond the era of man. That's all. Thank you.